In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these Easter mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and gain followers. Barnabas and Saul completed their task and came back from Jerusalem bringing Mark, John Mark with them. In the church at Antioch the following were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, Manian who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. One day while they were offering worship to the Lord and keeping a fast, the Holy Spirit said, I want Barnabas and Saul set apart for the work to which I have called them. So it was that after fasting and prayer, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So these two, sent on their mission by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia and from there sailed to Cyprus. They landed at Salamis and proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. John acted as their assistant. The word of the Lord. And the response, let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving hand. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations of earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Alleluia, Alleluia. You believe, Thomas, because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen me and yet believe. Alleluia. Mm. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus declared publicly, Whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I, the light, have come into the world, so that whoever believes in me may not stay in the dark any more. If only one hears my words and does not keep them faithfully, it is not I who shall condemn him, since I have come not to condemn the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and refuses my words has his judge already. The word itself that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day. For what I have spoken does not come from myself. No, what I was to say was what I had to sp- what I had to speak was commanded by the Father who sent me, and I know his commands mean eternal life. And therefore the Father has told me. Therefore what the Father has told me is what I speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus is always concerned with showing to others that he is commanded by the Father to do what he has to do. It is through the Father that all he does and all he will do will be done. It is in the mystery of the Trinity that we get caught up in that oneness of God. God the Father who sent his Son, who empowered the world with his Holy Spirit. We are recipients of that word. We're also recipients of the light that Jesus talks about in this morning's Gospel. It was that light that inspired the Apostles to continue their work as we listen to the Acts of the Apostles, taking them to many places and showing that light of Christ to others. So we turn to the Lord with our prayers of intercession this day. We pray for the Church, for Francis our Pope, Declan our Bishop, and all of God's holy people, that we may always walk in the light that Christ gives to us, and let that light be seen by others. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for our world, often darkened by war and conflict, suffering and pain and grief, that the world may grow to be a more generous and giving place, so that all peoples may find security. Lord, in your mercy, for ourselves in our journeys of faith, that our hearts may always be open to the light of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, for those who are sick in mind or in body, that they may find healing and peace. Lord, in your mercy, for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time, that they may find eternal rest. Lord, in your mercy, and we ask for the prayers of Mary, Mother of the Church, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may take, make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice therefore overcome with paschal joy Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
We pray together an act of spiritual communion, and joining with those who are still unable to join us at St. John's for Mass. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into their hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen.